Hey guys, this is Etan Sun from Sunbros. Today I'm really excited to be bringing you guys this brand new video. But before we get started with that, I want to make sure I remind you guys on how to get entered in for a chance to win our guaranteed skin giveaways that we do every Sunday night during our one hour question and answer live stream. All you got to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel, give the video a thumbs up and comment below with your in-game name and which skin you'd like to receive on either the NA or EU servers under 700 vouchers. And remember, the more videos that you do this with that are uploaded each week, the higher chance you have to win. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started with our Xenial Hero Quick Look video. Xenial is a class tank support. His role is control and healer. As you guys can see in the bottom left corner, Xenial is pretty much even keel across the board. Xenial's passive is Holy Brand. Every third normal attack, Xenial deals a percentage of his own maximum HP as magic damage. Xenial's first ability is Divine Protection. Xenial forms an envelope barrier that absorbs a bunch of damage based on his max HP. Additionally, Xenial can detonate the barrier after two and a half seconds by pressing the ability button again dealing a bunch of magic damage to all enemies nearby and reducing their movement speed. If the barrier is destroyed by an enemy, then no damage nor movement impairing effects will be dealt. Xenial's second ability is Malleus. Xenial leaps towards the target area, dealing magic damage to enemies in the area while also stunning them. And Xenial's ultimate is Angelic Splendor. Xenial selects an ally hero to bless with damage reduction for 3 seconds as he soars into the air towards the ally hero's location at the time of casting. After 2.2 seconds, Xenial crashes down in the target area dealing magic damage to nearby enemies while also healing the ally hero for a percentage of the maximum HP and increasing Xenial's movement speed for 3 seconds. Now we're going to moving on to Xenial's pros and cons, starting with Xenial's pros, which are strengths, things you're going to want to focus on if you're playing as Xenial, and things you're going to want to avoid if you're playing against him. Xenial's first pro is that he has good natural damage. Starting with his passive Holy Brand, every third normal attack, Xenial deals 4 to 8% of his maximum HP as magic damage. And considering Xenial is a tank support, then more likely than not, you're going to be building a pretty decent amount of health on him in order to maximize his total capabilities. The second part of this is, of course, his first ability divine protection. Xenial forms a shield and that's kind of the main part of his ability but additionally to the shield which is based on his maximum HP after two and a half seconds Xenial can detonate the shield causing a bunch of magic damage to all nearby enemies based on his maximum HP as well. So he has some really nice natural damage from his passive and his first ability which also happens to be a massive shield that he can utilize and of course his stun deals damage and his ultimate deals a good amount of damage also but those aren't the main source of its damage. And I wouldn't classify those as natural damage either. All right, his second pro is that he's very tanky. Xenio comes in as easily one of the top five, maybe top three tankiest heroes in the game. He has a ton of natural tankiness with his massive shield. When he's ulting, he's immune to all damage unless he gets crowd controlled out of it. And he's able to get some stuns off. He's able to heal people. I mean, he's got a really overall tanky build. He's going to be, for the most part, built tanky and be able to sustain a ton of damage being taken. Xenial's third pro is that he has an incredible global ult. Anytime that you can use an ability like an ultimate to be able to jump to any ally hero on the map, it's going to be a pretty strong ability. What makes it even stronger is that Xenial is indeed immune to all damage while he's casting his ult, and he does give the person he's casting the ult to 40% damage reduction, which is a big boost to them that lasts for three seconds and he also does damage upon landing as well as healing that ally as long as they're in that circle for 15% of their max HP which is a pretty good amount. All right now we're moving on to Xenial's cons which are his weaknesses things you're going to want to avoid if you're playing as him things you're going to want to take advantage of and exploit if you're playing against him. Xenial's first con is that he has fairly long cooldowns his first ability has a 10 second cooldown but it doesn't start going off until after you've used the exploding part of the shield the second second portion. So in reality, from when the time that you hit that ability to the time that it's going to be up again is going to be longer, more like 12, 13, 14 seconds before you're able to reuse that ability again, which is a pretty decent cooldown. And it does not get any shorter just from leveling it up to level six. His second ability is his jump and stun starts at 10 and goes all the way down to seven, which is definitely a little bit shorter. But for being a support, you know, in a team fight, only having one fairly short stun, 1.25 seconds isn't insignificant 
significant, but it's shorter than some of the longer one and a half, two second stuns that some of the supports out there have, or even just some of the longer lasting overall crowd control effects. And his ultimate starts at 70 seconds and goes down to 50 at level three, which even 50 seconds at level three is a pretty long cooldown. It obviously is a very strong ability, but the cooldowns are very, very decently long for Seniel, and he's not really able to give a whole lot of anything else while those cooldowns are in effect. Seniel's second con is that he's very susceptible to crowd control, and this is especially true when he's being kited. Zenyel's movement speed is definitely lacking, and he has the jump that he can do every seven seconds at level six, but the jump has a very long delay on casting, and if you're trying to use it to catch up to somebody who's kiting you, or who you're trying to stop from getting away, it doesn't really provide a lot of assistance in that scenario. So getting kited and getting crowd controlled for long periods of time is a very real issue for Zenyel. His third and final con is that he can indeed be knocked out of his ultimate with any form of hard crowd control. Knockbacks, knock ups, stuns, anything like that will be able to knock Zenyel out of his ultimate and it will chew up his cooldown. And that is no joke considering that cooldown starts at 70 seconds and then goes to 50. The idea of hitting Zenyel's ultimate, which is his best ability, and then not end up being able to use it and still having that massive cooldown be started is really, really not a good scenario for Zenyel. So you have to be extremely careful when and where you use your ultimate and who is around you and what kind of crowd control they possess. Alright guys, that is it for the Zenio Hero Quick Look video. Make sure you guys tune in tomorrow for the Zenio How to Build video. We're really excited about that one. And of course, we have the other videos coming out this weekend with the release of Murad. On Friday, we're going to be having the Murad Hero Quick Look in the Murad How to Build videos, guys. Thanks for watching, and as always, till next time.